This is called the Google game, and it is a wonderful way to spark curiosity. If you have any trouble figuring out what to get curious around, I suggest trying this game. We all know how computers work. You type something into a Google search box, and it comes up with results. Well, you can think of humans as computers, too. You type something into our search box, and we have all sorts of memories, associations, stories that come up with it. So in the Google game, we get to treat each other like personal computers. So I can Google anything I want about my partner. You're going to have an A and a B, and maybe choose that by uh, whoever smiles first. One of you can arbitrarily smile if the other hasn't. All right, smiler, you're A. Other person is B. A, you are Google, the Googler, and B, you're the search box. So Googler, you can Google anything you want, and you can say, if I Googled you and Aruba, what would I find? If I Googled you and Fogs, what would I find? If I Googled you and um, treasured childhood memories, what would I find? You can even think of things that you've actually typed into Google before. If I Googled you and how to open a pickle jar, what would I find? So feel free to be creative, even come up with random word associations. And if you're being Googled, if you're the search box, you can share really whatever you want, but I suggest the first results that come up in your mind or the strongest associations. Maybe you just share the words that come up for you in association or share a story. What memory comes up when you hear that word or memories? Like in the curiosity game, Googler, if you feel complete with the response, you can say thank you. And that's a chance for partner B to pause, and then you can Google another search term. We'll try this first version of the game for five minutes. All right, Danny. If I was to Google you and snowstorm, what would I find? Mm. I think when I was living in Burlington for a Valentine's Day snowstorm, um, I don't even remember what year ago, it must have been like maybe seven or eight years ago, um, where I got trapped at a friend's house um, overnight. And it was a really interesting experience of literally like having the snow totally covering my car. And so there was no way that I was going anywhere that night. Whoa. <laughs> cool, I have another one. Yeah. If I was to Google you and astronomy, what would I find? Hmm. Yeah, you'd maybe find that um, when I was younger, I actually really wanted to be an astronomer hmm. uh, and kind of like astrophysics and actually paying attention uh, to space was something that I was really interested and curious about. Hmm. I think I'm learning about you. This is cool. Hmm. If I was to Google you and um, high school girlfriend, what would I find? Hmm. Uh, yeah, you'd find that I had a pretty long term high school girlfriend mm -hmm. and we were together for my my junior and, and senior years. And we tried to stay together when we went to college, but after kind of our first semester, we realized that the long distance thing wasn't really working. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I hope you enjoyed playing that game. So I'm gonna give you a possible variation that you guys can go ahead and try or save for another time as you want. Variations that you can play on with this game is, are you could double click so if you say, if I Googled you and video cameras and they start talking about, you know, when they were a videographer in high school and um, how they filmed this, you know, women's track and field team and one of the women came up and like kissed them and they felt really awkward. And then maybe you say, double click on girls and awkward. And they might have a totally new association come up. So you can kind of drill deeper by double clicking. I really suggest thinking about this next time you're in a conversation and trying to be curious. What would you Google? What would you double click? And you can try other search terms if you want. What happens if you cross reference? What happens if you exclude terms? Um, really have fun with it and treat your partner like a search box that might have infinite results because we have about as many connections as I imagine there are search terms on the internet and there's always more to find.